Hello YouTube, this is Dragonheart and welcome to my YouTube channel and welcome to Total War Rome 2 and I'm bringing you another online battle. So here we are. My opponent today is Epic Reality Dude, a friend of mine on Steam. He also helps me run my Steam group and we've been on an online battle for ages and today we finally delivered it. And I have chosen the Iceni tribe as the faction to play as and he has chosen the Romans. So here I am now in the deployment zone. I've grouped a couple of units together, a couple of infantrymen, and I've put them in the centre of there. Um, and as you can see now, the battle timer is coming down. I only have about 50 odd seconds to go. And there he has popped up on Steam, wishing me good luck. And I said to him as well. And um, I've got to be honest, I've been playing a little bit of the IC in my own personal campaign, and they're a pretty good faction. I think they're a bit underrated by a lot of people. Got a couple of good units. They got char chariots and uh, some good world warriors and slingers as well. If you can get the right combination, I think they're a pretty decent faction to play as. So I am considering doing them as a let's play. But let, let me know if you would like to see me do a let's play of the Iceni or any other tribe or faction in the game. Because I am going to do a second let's play as well. And what basically what I've tried to do here in this particular battle, I've tried to hide most of my units. So he doesn't know where I am. I'm going to use that hill to screen my forces and my movements. So I bring my missile troops forward first. And I bring them right up here to the ridge. I keep my units deep. While he and while I can't see him, he can't see me either. But I know it's open ground up there. Whereas down here he can't see me, so I'm just trying to organize my lines at the moment. I grouped a couple of my units together to make it easy to control them. And straight away I'm going to move my cavalry up. What I was aiming to do here was to bring my cavalry. And hang on, look at this. He just messaged me there saying, you'll be hiding. And indeed, that was my plan, of course. <laughs> but um, basically what I'm trying to do in this part of the, of the battle is to move my cavalry to the right flank. To entice him and to perhaps get him to move and react to it. So here we are, he's moving his, I'm moving my cavalry to the right flank and I'm bringing my infantrymen, my spearmen and my uh, slingers forward to create one big long line. One of the tactics I try to do is always uh, allow myself maneuverability in the battle. So as you can see I have th four units, four groups of units grouped together um, which you can see on the unit panel and this allows me uh, quite a bit of flexibility with my forces and then you can see now my spear band on the left flank looking at his Romans and I can actually see them now as well which will make it a bit easier for me so I immediately bring my three units of slingers forward and I bring my cavalry forward again as well on the right flank I hope you guys are enjoying uh, Total War Rome 2, it's a pretty good game. It has its ups and downs, but we'll have to wait and see what the update is like with, with Creative Assembly. And see how that does. I've actually had to reduce my graphic performance down to low and medium settings. Which is a bit weird, considering I was able to play Shogun 2 on high and ultra settings. So, it is a bit crazy at the moment. But I'm sure the things will improve over time with this game, with the updates. But going back to this multiplayer battle now, I bring my forces forward. And as you can see, i still got most of my units hidden. You still can't see most of my units. But I can see quite a lot of his now. i got a general idea of where his units are. I've also hidden a unit in a little bit of the grass there on the left hand side. I'm just bringing them all forward now. Just to the ridge, bottom of the ridge. They're still hidden there at the moment. And my slingers are able to start firing now. And get some shots away on his Roman soldiers and he's confronted me now with four units on my left flank but I also have got that one unit hidden just behind them for support 
And now we uh, continue and we attack them here. Get my slingers involved. Throw all my infantry in. He has two units against my three on the left flank. So I'm able to outnumber him here. Problem with my special ability shield screen to help me out. Bring my main line forward now. Talking about that maneuverability again. Able to flex flexibly move my army around. Able to form two groups into one big line now. And I engage him on both both flanks while my main force stays in the centre as a reserve for the time being. He's having the beating of one unit over there, so I immediately bring my uh, reserve unit forward now on the left flank as well. Help me support them on the left wing, the left flank. I also bring my cavalry across. I reshape my line, bring them up a bit, for, a bit more to go at the top of that hill there. A quick reload going on my skirmishing troops. Put shield screen on as well. And fire as best we can now. Get the special abilities going, get frenzy charge going. It's going pretty well so far as you can see. We we're outnumbering him on the left flank now. We still have my general in reserve and the line is holding well in the centre. We turn our special abilities, headhunt and frenzy get stuck into the opponent, into the Romans. Make sure to my skirmishers onto melee now. No point them being enraged when when they're engaging the Roman forces, so turn them onto melee. I bring my left flank now. I've secured the left flank and I bring them all forward into the centre to help out. But he still has a lot of men left. One of my units is wavering as well in the centre now. Or one of his, I should say. So we try and get into his synth into his uh his archers, into his missile troops. At the top of the screen now. I tried to reshape my line again for a second time in this battle. This is where I start to turn the battle now. I get my general involved. I engage his units and try my best to team up on them, to outnumber them. I can't actually get to his archers, so I look to try and take out his legatus, his general. But I decide to change my mind last second, realizing that I'd be outnumbered, and I go for his infantry units instead. So I'm reshaping my line now, as you can see. I'm outnumbered down the bottom of the hill. If I don't mind that, I'm bringing them away from the battle. Giving my main units less men to focus on. I turn on shield screen again, and I try to take out his Praetorian cavalry. My troops have now reformed again in the centre, forming a set another line for me. So I get frenzy and headhunt on as I try to hold them in the center. I bring my main line forward now towards the Romans. I've allowed the Romans to go down the hill now, giving me an advantage by going downwards for the charge. I'm able to turn them around. And my units, my, my slingers have diverted two of his units away from the main battle. Give me an, an advantage with numbers. I attack in the Praetorian Cavalry. I turn on shield screen again. And I try to outnumber him here. As you would expect, the Cavalry do get defeated. The numbers do prevail. I yet again go for his Legatus. But the numbers game is proven effective now. Only has a few men left in his cavalry, his Praetorian cavalry. 
And I, without charging my, all my men into that one unit, I have to try to keep four of them here. Well, keep three of them here, just bring my general involved and get him to charge. Just to break them completely. I use the whip as well. Use some of his abilities. Get my spearmen and my nobles into one line. My men are wavering at the end of the screen, as you can see now. They're starting to go. And they are gone, finally. So it's four Roman units against seven of mine. So I form one line here to take on his units. I do still have a chariot and a cavalry left. I use them to take out the, the missile troops. I continue to use my slingers in the rear now. They've done their job, they've turned the two units away from the main battle. They're able to shoot them from behind and they've given me enough time to reform my line to attack him yet again. Here I go, I go into his slingers now with my noble riders. I turn on the frenzy charge, probably a bit late with the frenzy charge but it still has an effect. And his troops are starting to waver now. His arch units. I'm just piling all my men into the centre now. Into the Praetorian Guard. Well, the battle's going really well now at this point, as you can see. And victory looks almost certain. So I bring my chariots forward against his legatus. I pile into his Praetorian Guard. His Praetorian Guard has now been defeated and he has only the legatus left. The general, the last man to go. And that's pretty much the end of this battle. So I hope you've enjoyed this battle and I shall leave you all with the results screen. Thank you for watching. I've been Dragonheart. Until next time, goodbye.